Uh, hey guys, after a long time, uh, I'm back with a new video. Firstly, happy Diwali and uh, uh, happy Bhai Dooj in advance to all of you who are celebrating it. And uh, after a long time, I'm putting uh, up this video because um, I'm busy with job and everything. It becomes a little difficult to, you know, post very frequently. Although I try, I even make my banks, but somehow I don't get the time to post very frequently uh, these days. Uh, but this is the second video in October that is I'm trying to make at least one video in 15 days. Uh, so we had finished with the uh, lymphoid updates in uh, uh, that the latest WHO has prescribed. Now I'm starting with the myeloid neoplasm updates. This is the review article. You can search this title. It is available online. Uh, I think uh, the uh, hard copy would be out in December. The, it's on the net. The, the article is on the net. I'll have to see whether the soft copy is there or not. For the WHO 2022, um, as compared to the uh, lymphoid malignancies, the myeloid malignancies, as we go along, uh, you will realize that rather than uh, some new changes being introduced into this, what is more is those mutations, those molecular mutations that we used to study uh, like an extra, at, um, like an addendum to the uh, boxes that are there in WHO, the criteria boxes have now been uh, essentially made, made uh, important criteria. So nothing new, no new terms are there as such. There are new terms like in MDS you are going to see, you will see CCAS, you, you are going to see CHIP. These terms have been there. You, uh, those who follow HEMAT closely, they have read what is uh, clonal hematopoiesis of indeterminate potential or of uh, or uh, cytopenias of uh, undetermined significance. These words have been there. It's just that they were not in the WHO classification. Now WHO has adopted these in the classification. So where possible, so what are the key features of this latest WHO 2022 for myeloid and histiocytic uh, neoplasms? A triad of attributes was systematically applied. That is, they have included the lineage, which they always did. The dominant clinical attribute, which in case of say MPM, they had done the last time also. And the dominant biological attitude, attribute, that is the mutational profile. Descriptors such as acute, chronic, cytopenia or cytopenias, myelodysplasia, cytosis, osis or myeloproliferation. These descriptors have been kept, maybe renamed a bit. Most biological attributes include gene fusion, rearrangements and mutations. So basically three things molecular, clinical, and lineage specific. Lineage specific, they were always there. Molecular, yes, for some they were, for some they had just mentioned it, now it is a criteria. And clinical, yes, and even in the last classification, some entities had clinical criteria than them. A set of decision support guidelines was adopted to aid in determining what subtype would qualify in this context in those three headings that I told you. They include having distinct molecular or cytogenetic features driven by an established oncogenic mechanism. So what mutations are you going to include? They included those which were defined, well-defined and had a well-defined pathogenetic mechanism. Then not meeting subtype criteria under other tumor types with defining means something which has a dysplasia, but the mutation is actually specific for some, some, some other tumor, maybe an AML, then that entity may might show features of dysplasia but will not be included in AML but uh, sorry MDS but be included in AML something like that they are not overlapping with other tumors they, the the molecular profile the clinical profile and the cyanine specificity is very very specific for that tumor having distinct pathological and clinical feature including but not limited to response to therapy this you saw last time in CML updated updates also when the CML accelerated phase was updated and one of the um, uh, entity that was included was response to imatinib therapy. At least two quality peer review publications by, of course, until and this is research. Research when proven uh, properly uh, leads to an update in the classification. So at least two independent investigator groups, quality investigations prove that this mutation or this clinical scenario or this specific marker was found in uniformly ca the cases of the entity under study. So clonal hematopoiesis has been, you know, uh, laid a lot of stress on this term. Uh, this was there initially. Now WHO has included it in the classification. 
so broadly the presence of a population of cell derived from mutated multipotent or progenitor cells have selective growth advantage and there is absence of cytopenia cancers or clonal disorder means there is a group of cell that you identify which has clonal prop propensity which has a stem cell like morphology uh, and feature however they are not categorized into any particular cytopenic um, uh, myeloid neoplasm or any specific cancer but they are still clonal they are not full blown cancers that their their property is clonal but they don't have any other feature of any other cancer those uh, clonal uh, cells were known as chip that is clonal hematopoiesis of indeterminate potential means these uh, can, uh, clonal cells have the propensity to develop into a cancer but where they'll develop how much will they develop it is not known more specific emerging association such as those characterizing the vexas vexas means vacuoles that is seen in the myeloid uh, the, the cells e1 enzyme x linked auto inflammatory and somatic uba1 mutation syndrome represent manifestation of an interplay between the inflammation and these clonal hematopoietic cells may which might develop into neoplasias and such more entities like vexus will be covered in the future so what is clonal hematopoiesis of indeterminate any where the word indeterminate potential comes means the potential is not fully determined this clonal group of cell might stay as such not form anything not harming the patient this clonal group of cells might proliferate become a full blown cancer that depends it will become an mpn mds aml uh, mastocytosis eosinophilic you don't know you just know that this is a group of cells which has the capability to transform this goes back to the molecular and the biological basis that all cells do not transform only those cells which have the potency the stem cell property they transform so those transforming cells being caught due to flow due to uh, ngs and all these sensitive modalities at a very early stage those cells come under chip so harboring somatic mutation of myeloid malignancy associated these detected in blood or in bone marrow at a variant ll fraction remember this word waf this is being used frequently now in the classifications in mpn mds variant allele fraction means there is a group of cell which shows mutations which are similar to mutations seen in other myeloid neoplasms however this case does not have that myeloid neoplasm so you are catching something at a very very early stage of greater than 2% greater than 4% for x linked gene mutation in male in individuals without any diagnosed malignancy or cytopenia so you uh, you perform flow you by the way get a group of cell which has that mutation which is there in other um, myeloid neoplasms full blown ones however that patient is totally normal now this case comes under chip what is cas that is clonal cytopenia of undetermined significance that was clonal hematopoiesis of indeterminate potential ठीक है वॉट इज दिस दिस इज साइटोपीनिया सो वन थिंग इज बायोलॉजिकल दैट यू गेट अ ग्रुप ऑफ सेल्स विच शो सम म्यूटेशन विच शुड बी देर इन अ फुल ब्लोन माइलॉज न्यूप्लाजम येट द पेशेंट डज नॉट हैव इट दैट इज वन एंटिटी चिप सेकेंड इज देर इज द पेशेंट इज हैविंग साइटोपीनियाज बट नॉट फुल ब्लोन साइटोपीनियाज यू कैन नॉट कैरेक्टराइज दिस साइटोपीनिया टू अ पर्टिकुलर एम डी एस एम पी एम so one or more persistent cytopenia that are otherwise unexplained by hematological or non hematological condition and do not meet diagnostic criteria of myeloid neoplasm cytopenia definition are harmonized for cas mds mds in what is uh, cytopenia hemoglobin less than 13 in males less than 12 in females absolute neutrophil count less than 1.8 platelet less than 1 so this was a very short starting uh, intro to what the update of myeloid neoplasm is i will take individual myeloid neoplasm each time starting from mpn then mds then some, something like that and we'll start discussing uh, both the changes as well as what the literature says and my advice to you is go and read this paper every time you'll have to put it in practice before you start remembering it two things are important nothing new has been added chip cas idas icas these terms are have been there for the past 1 to 2 years 
ियलोडिसमिंग so they are undermining the uh, malignant potential of all the mdf mdss they think that not all of them are very very bad so these things are there they'll come with practice so don't worry just remember myeloid may whatever has changed you already know it's just that now you have to recategorize the information so as i go along i'll uh, keep explaining to you more for for now i think this as an intro is fine you can download that paper and i'll see you in the next lecture i'll hope i can put it up soon uh, till then uh, enjoy hematology and uh, i'll see you next